Okay, I had a chance to work on the kitchen design and epping. And I'll work through the design real quick for you. Probably easier to do it this way. This cabinet here is um, got a drawer and two doors with two roll-out trays. This has three drawers in it. This I put in a pantry pull-out. See if we can show you that. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, it says right here, base pull-out installed. Although it's not showing in the uh, design, I can show you what that is. It's basically a bunch of shells and it pulls out. You can put spices on it and everything. Full light door. And then over here, I don't have anything inside this cabinet, although we could put uh, some tray dividers in there. Increase the size of your sink base from a 33. You have a 33 inch sink base here. Put it a 36 because it's a little more common. You can get almost any sink you want in there. And center it on the window, of course, and then put a draw base, a four draw base next to it. This BS, this BCF. 634 is covering up the void. Got rid of the blind corner, covered up the void. This cabinet here has two roll-out trays behind two doors and a drawer. Go back to the uh, plan. That's this cabinet here. You'll notice here what I've done is I've made an extended style on the side of this cabinet and on the side of this cabinet. That allows you to open the door all the way without hitting this panel. You don't lose the storage, but uh, it's nice to be able to swing the door open. They call it a wide style wall right. Uh, and I've done that to several cabinets so you can swing the door open next to the panel but like I said it does not um, you don't lose any storage when you do that okay so we have that same spacer I'm gonna call it or extended style on this side and on this side too so this door swings open beyond 90 degrees and um, shouldn't should not conflict with this uh, panel. Um, notice in your drawing you have a 34 inch um, cabinet over the refrigerator. I changed it to a 37 because if unless you've bought them already and they're fine, um, your appliances you're going to find that a 33 inch refrigerator is going to cost as much as a 36 inch refrigerator, and sometimes. Uh, 36 inch refrigerators cost less than a 33 inch refrigerator. They're a little more, 36 is a little more common in the refrigerator area. Then in the island, uh, a double pull out trash here with a drawer, bank of drawers, and a drawer and two doors here, uh, 24 inch base cabinet. Showing some crown molding. These are 30 inch uppers, which means from the floor, the top of the cabinet would be 84 inches. Not including the molding. The molding is a uh, inch and 13 sixteenths tall, I believe. Now, to give you an idea what this costs. I chose Adams door style, which is a recessed center panel. 
Uh, you can also get, uh, it's a veneered center panel, you can also get solid wood, solid wood center panel. When I talk center panel, I am referring to this part of the door. So this rail, this rail, this rail, and this rail is going to ma be made out of solid wood. Um, but this center panel can be made in a veneer or solid wood. Uh, they always, most generally, paint on maple wood. Got a white painted finish here. All plywood cabinet box. Hardwood, hard, hardwood dovetail drawers. With full extension soft closed guys and soft closed doors and then also have something uh, in their five piece drawer fronts are included uh, the five piece drawer front is right here so basically it says it's five piece because it's one two three four and the center part is five pieces otherwise this will be a slab you can also get it so the top drawer is slab and the bigger drawers or the bottom drawers rather are five piece. Each door, each drawer costs about forty dollars if you want the five piece drawer front. Like I said, that's already included in this estimate right here. Um, good place to learn uh, more about the construction is right here. Norcraft uh, cabinet construction. I'll put a link for this in the email so you can access that easier. Then you got your job site delivery. Uh, if you want to pick up the cabinets here at the kitchen gallery, then this goes away. Adams um, tends to be on the more cost-effective side. There's 20 price columns uh, for the Norcraft cabinet line, and Adams is in price column 4, 20 being the most expensive. So that's why I picked up uh, Adams.